Hello everyone! My name is Mom Jessica C. Sopata from Santo Tomas National High School. Time to teach you guys a lesson. Welcome to Mad Will Legends, where numbers are magically fun and students are mathematically legends. If you are here to learn math, wise choice. Today, you will learn how to combine like terms and what to do with unlike terms. What are terms? Well, mathematically speaking, these are algebraic terms. An algebraic term may be a number or a letter or a letter with a cute number at the upper right corner or the combination of all. Now, what do you call each figure? The number is the numerical coefficient. The letter is the literal coefficient or the variable. And the cute number at the upper right corner is the exponent. Let us proceed because nothing can stop us. For you to easily identify like terms, I want you to consider the following. The first is the operation. The operation should be addition or subtraction. The next one are variables. The variables should be the same. And lastly, the exponents of the variables should be the same as well. Just like this example. The operation here is addition. The variables are both a and the exponents of the variables are both 2 or squared. Another example, the operation here is subtraction. The variables are the same and they both have an exponent of 8 or to the 8th power. Again, consider the operation, variables, and the exponents of the variables. If all the three things are being followed, they are like terms. But if any one of these is being violated, they are unlike terms. I will show you examples and tell me whether they are like terms or unlike terms. All you have to do is to thumbs up for like terms and thumbs down for unlike terms. Number 1. They are unlike terms because the exponents are not the same. Number 2. Again, they are unlike terms because the variables are not the same. Number 3. They are like terms. The operation is addition, the variables are both x, and their exponents are both 3 or cube. How about number 4? Did you got it correctly? Number 5. How about that? Go guys, two more items to go. And last but not the least. Now dealing with these items, no need for you to call your mom or your dad. Where's my mommy and daddy? I will help you what to do. So don't go away because a real fighter never runs. Before we go to the steps, let me give you an analogy. Like terms are like solution mixture in your chemistry class. Example of a solution, mixing chocolate syrup and milk. Meaning, like terms can be combined, while unlike terms are like suspension mixture in your chemistry class. Example of a suspension is mixing oil and water. No matter how difficult 
you mix them, it won't get mixed. Meaning, unlike terms, cannot be combined. Here are the steps in combining like terms. First, combine the numerical coefficients or the numbers before the letters. The second one is to copy their common variables. And lastly, copy their common exponents. What if they are unlike terms? All you have to do is to copy everything. But there will be times that you need to consider the degree of the terms. Let us now answer the given examples. We can do it number one. Since this item can't be combined, this is the final answer. But the term with the highest exponent should be written first. Number 2. Since this item cannot be combined as well, all you have to do is to copy. At this point, I want you to pause the video for a while and then grab a paper and pen. Try these items that cannot be combined. What should be the final answer? Here are the answers. Did you got them correctly? That's great! Moving on to the next item. Since the number 3 can be combined, let's follow the steps. First, combine the numerical coefficients. The numerical coefficients here are imaginary 1 and they are both positive. Positive 1 plus positive 1 equals positive 2. And then copy their common variables, which is x. And lastly, copy their common exponent, which is cubed. Number 4. Just repeat the same steps. 6 minus imaginary 1 is equal to 5. Then copy the variables and their exponents. Number 5 cannot be combined because they do not have the same variables. All you have to do is to copy everything. Another try this. Did you got the items correctly? Good job! Let's proceed to number 6. Number 7. Take note that 7 minus 10 is equals to negative 3. Let's try this. Are you doing great so far? Very good! Try to keep up, if you can, for you will be having a quiz. But if you are still confused, you may want to pause and go back to the examples. Please do not forward the video to see the answers, because honesty is the best policy. And I believe my students are honest. Time to shine! 5 seconds till the next items. Smash them! All items deployed. You can do it. In a few seconds, you will check your own work for you to assess if you understand the lesson. If the time is not enough for you, you may pause the video and continue answering. Here are the answers.
What is your score? Did you slain an item? Double call? Triple call? Many app? Or save age? Comment down the code of your score. That's all for today. I hope you've learned a lot. Once again, this is Mom Jessica C. Zapata saying, I'm not fat. I'm just chubby. <laughs> Always remember, fat is fun. If you like this video, you may thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and expect more video lessons coming soon. Bye guys! Thank you for watching!